Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate how to use the tdist function to test a hypothesis in Excel, and this will work the same in the Mac and the PC. I am using a Mac here today. And um, generally, when you test a hypothesis under a, a t-test, you will compare some calculated t to a critical value and decide whether or not to reject the null. Okay. Um, with the tdist function, we're going to use the p-value, so we're not going to actually need a critical value to do this. Okay, so uh, under this scenario, we have some variable out in the population untreated, and it averages 12. All right, we've come up with some kind of treatment. Okay, we've administered it, and uh, we find that the uh, the mean in the sample went down to 7. All right, we're estimating the standard deviation at 20 and our sample size was 40 and uh, the question here is the alternative hypothesis is is this difference all right, big enough to rule out sampling error or random chance uh, and go ahead and say that the treatment has some kind of effect okay all right so to start off I am going to calculate T okay and uh, the T is going to equal the sample mean minus the population mean all right, divided by the standard error, which is the standard deviation, divided by the square root of n. Okay, and uh, we end up with a negative 1.58, so essentially saying that this uh, negative 1.58 standard deviations below the population mean. And the question is, is that far enough out, given these conditions, to reject the null and say that there is a treatment effect. Okay. Um, just one last thing before I go ahead and, and use the tdist function. It only works for positive values. Okay. So I'm going to take my t that I calculated and I'm going to wrap that in the absolute value function. All right. So that I don't get an error message when I plug in the, the values for the uh, tdist function. All right, and then I'm ready to go ahead and do the tdist. So tdist, uh, a little misleading. It's asking for an x. It really should be asking for the t because uh, that's what it is asking for or should ask for. Okay, um, degrees of freedom n minus one. Okay, and then uh, number of tails. I have a cell for that. Okay, and uh, when I hit enter we're going to get a p-value which is going to be the lowest level of significance we can reject at. All right, so the lowest level of significance we can reject at is uh, 0 0.0609. Okay, we were going to reject the null um, if, uh, if the p-value came out to be anything less than 0 0.05. Okay, and then I just I just put in a formula here to to state the decision rule. Okay, so I was testing whether or not uh, we could reject the null. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to come back up here and, and change this a little bit more. Let's just say the sample turned out to uh, have an average of 6.5. Okay, if that was the case, right, you see the p-value changed, right, you see the t changed, and then you see the little message here, since uh, the p-value is now less than alpha, uh, we can reject the null. Okay, and uh, that's how you use the t-dist function.